Hello everyone, welcome back to Woodfire Smoke. A lot of you have seen this smoker in some of my videos, and this is actually a custom build uh, that I had made, and it's from a, a guy from right here in Georgia, and he's of Pitmaster fame, uh, of Barbecue Pit Wars and uh, Barbecue Pitmasters, so I know a lot of you are gonna know him, but he's also a legendary pit builder, Stunt McDowell. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Stuntfield Barbecue Company is up here with wood-fired smoke this morning, going over their cooker. Uh, James Braden had bought this thing, and he wanted it customized with a big firebox where he could burn wood in it. Uh, he wanted enough room to put uh, two pans on each one, and he wanted the golf carts. He wanted everything. So anyway, we uh, put some thoughts together, and we made what he wanted, and, and that's a gravity feed stick burner. So, we got a 32, 27 by 32 inch rack, which you can tell holds two pans on it, so you got plenty of room. Uh, you got the reverse flow plate in here, the heat and smoke comes up and comes over, and you can tell James has been wearing this thing out. And that's what we need to do. You need to cook on them. Uh, come standard with regular latch, uh, slam latches. They got a little hole in here if you need to lock them. You got adjustable thermometers with brass screw-in fittings. You got an oven latch right here. And you clean out all your ash. You got two sources of heat coming into this cooker. You got your firebox and then you got your gravity feed. The firebox is insulated and will hold about a 14 inch piece of wood. And you don't have to have no controls or nothing on this thing. You run it just like a insulate, like a regular old stick burner. Uh, and it works fine. You got a two inch stainless ball valve for the gravity feed part. I'm not gonna open that door. Uh, right here you got your intake for your stick burner. Now, James got a controller for this thing, but he ain't never used it. Said you don't need it. And the one run I done on it, uh, I said the same thing. Up here, you got an oven latch with your charcoal chute. You got your uh, uh, adjustable blast gate dampers. You got a, pro a probe port back here on the back, so you can put your thermometers in. Got the golf cart wheels. It's just... Uh, it's just a custom, it's custom. Everything stuff we are doing now is custom. James called down, he wanted this, this, and this, and he got what he ordered. Uh, I seen a post somewhere that says, uh, uh, you can't, you stump can't keep, keep building different designs because they ain't going to work. Well, pretty much every one I design works. And, you know, and I tell folks, I cook on these things in my head before they ever start building. Uh, Matt and Mandy are really, really taking off with this. They are doing excellent work building these cookers. And I'm glad to be associated with them. I'm glad to pass the torch to Matt and Mandy. Uh, I think uh, they're going to be one of the uh, ones to uh, sort of shine when all this gets said and done. And that's what I want. Uh, Right here, I didn't even say that we got the stainless. Everything we do got stainless ball valve. That stainless grease valve, uh, hang a bucket on, let your grease come down. Uh, you know, when I had the old company, you got you bought this and you bought this and bought this. We just gonna do a package deal and be done with it. We ain't got time for all that crap. Uh, we building your cooker. If it's one cooker a month, that's what we gonna build. We gonna build your cooker. Just like you, it's going to be yours. We're not going to do all that other stuff. Uh, so we're very thankful for the customers and the support we've had. Uh, we've been very blessed. James Braden with Wood Fire Smoke is, is really taking off with it. Uh, he's going to do good. He really enjoys his cooker. And he's become part of the family. Uh, we've sit here this morning and talked about three hours, all about everything. And uh, that's the way it ought to be. That's the way it ought to be. We need to get back to that and spend more time together. Uh, I know I said something about the website the other day. We're going to get the website going again. 
a lot of folks is on me about that. Uh, James is on me about the YouTube, doing some YouTube stuff. So we're going to get it all together. It's just going to take a little time. But uh, I hope to come back up here and we'll really do some cooking with James. We're sort of on the schedule right now. But uh, y'all stay tuned to Wood Fire Smoke. He's going to be putting out some good stuff. And, and y'all just give him all the love and support you can. Thank you, buddy. Hi, everyone. I want to take a, a second to thank uh, Scott McDowell for coming by and walking us around my uh, custom smoker that he built for me and uh, let you know that if you'd be interested in having uh, Stump and his team, Matt and uh, Mandy Goss, build you a uh, your own custom smoker, we'll have uh, the ways to contact them in the description below. I also want to let you know that Mama Stump, she uh, makes her own rub and it's one uh, championship rub, rub one and ribs, a uh, couple grand championships, and uh, it's um, it's available now in the Stuntville store. And uh, I'll put links in the description as to where how you can contact them if you'd like to get that. You can buy it by the pound like I do, or uh, buy it in shaker, whichever one you'd like. It's some really good stuff though. So I hope you'll uh, check that out. But anyway. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe to the channel. Give this, this video a thumbs up. And until next time, keep the smoke rolling, and we'll see you back on Wood Fire Smoke. <laughs>